Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today you're going to continue working on the 1A Coat of Arms practice document. Please click on the practice document and scroll down to where you're at. You should be working on question number four today. So let's take a look at the presentation and then we'll get working. So again, here's some examples of seventh grade artwork from the past. Notice the high quality drawings. Notice the use of composition, how they've taken the image and they filled the entire section of the spaces. And notice how they have a consistent color scheme where they're not using more than five total colors to represent their different ideas. So to review, you should have already drawn an animal origin, belief and tradition as sketches. And now you're referencing those to put them on your finer, final coat of arms template or your crest. So you can use the internet browser as a resource to choose a crest and draw it on a piece of final project paper. You want to divide up into four different sections and then again transfer your images onto here with pencil. You're going to be drawing large filling the space using a pencil. Then you're going to be outlining everything in a thin black marker. Next, erase all unnecessary pencil marks. And then finally, fill your image with color using colored pencils or marker. The colors you use can be representational. In other words, if you draw a basketball, you might want to color it orange. Or if you draw a football, you might want to color it brown. But if there are things that you don't want to make appropriate colors, you can use the meaning and the color scheme here to show other metaphors and symbolism for your family crest. When you're working on your final drawing, be sure to draw big and fill the space with pencil. Draw soft, light marks, and then you're going to outline everything with a black marker. Once you've outlined everything with a black marker, erase unnecessary pencil marks, and then add a consistent color scheme using meaning behind the symbols for your colors. Try to use no more than five total colors. Try to add various pressures and various degrees of darkness and lightness. Notice the different degrees of blues and greens in my color scheme here. Once you're done with your artwork, you're going to take a photograph and put it in here. And then also take that photograph and upload it to Seesaw. And then you could submit your artwork to Google Classroom by going to the top right and clicking Turn into Google Classroom. So that is how you complete the 1A Coat of Arms practice document. Work hard, have fun, and be creative.